Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? YouTube, how's everybody making out? 9.30 here, guys, all joking aside. Um, and uh, what was I going to say? Last week, sometime, I did a video on these Otter Messer pieces. Um, I explained how much I love Otter Messer. Um, Otter Messer is one of my top knives, top go-to uh, pieces uh, that I like to go to because they're just so well built. Um, and they're just absolutely fantastic. So every now and again, I go online and I search Otter Messer knives, okay? Um... I just do a quick search, a quick, you know, a quick run through just in case something hit my eye that I haven't seen lately or um, because they do um, put stuff up. I mean, if you search eBay, they do um, sometimes put stuff up on eBay that are random and that you haven't seen before because I keep a pretty close eye on um, on Otter Messer pieces. And when I see a new piece come through, I'm like, whoa. I'm like, I don't think I missed that, you know. But there they go. They tossed one up online. They they, they threw you a curveball. I guess they uh, want to see how alert you are. They want to see what kind of, they want to see if you're staying in the game. But, no, I don't think it's that at all. But I'm just saying, it sounded good. Um. Anyway, what am I saying here, guys? Give me a little help here. Last week sometime, or the week before that, I don't know exactly when it was, I did, I showed my Otter Messer knives, which are right here. So, long story short, I did my perusing once again, and um, I was looking for Otter Messer knives, newer knives that I haven't seen before, and something came up, okay? And when I saw it, I was like... I didn't see it before. I was like, now I know I didn't see that before when I did the search on it last time. But now it had came up. So um, I had to pull the trigger on this little guy. And let me tell you, it's a bombshell. It is a little bombshell. I'm so glad I discovered it. And I'm so glad I saw it. It's going to go fantastic with this Otter Messer collection. And guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have an Otter Messer collection, get started on one, okay? Get started on one. It's a little deep, it's it, it's a little, it's a little scary, okay? Because these Otter Messer knives, like, they aren't like your regular everyday run-of-the-bill, run-of-the-mill knives. Um, they could get a little deep. Um, they're, they're, you know, they're all solid in Germany. You know what I mean? If you're digging solid in Germany knives, okay. Um, and you're into Boker. Okay. If you're into Boker knives and solid in, like I said, solid in pieces, these are going to be for you because they, these are like Boker knives. They're solid in Germany pieces. They're not no Chinese, uh, made knives. Um, I'll tell you what, I've been watching, uh, not to change the subject, um, stick with me here if you can. I've been watching, uh, The Knife Doctor. Holy smokes, that guy is changing me around, man. He's, oh, phew. I'll tell you what, he won't make, if you watch a couple of his videos, you won't be, you won't be buying Chinese knives much anymore because that, that, that cat, he is against Chinese knives, man. He just don't like them. He does his best. He does. He puts his best foot forward to not show it, to not show how much he is against Chinese knives. But he slips up too much. He can't hold back. And my man, my, my main man, he can't hold back because he, he gets those Chinese knives and he's like, bah. he don't like them. He don't like them. And God bless him. God bless the man. He's a Marine Corps, he's an ex-Marine, and he's got his, um, you know, he's got his beliefs, and God bless him, God bless him, they're very good beliefs, if, if you're going to ask me, but, um, yeah, he, he's, whew, he'll make you want to throw out all your Chinese knives, man, I'll tell you that, he will make you want to toss out all them Chinese junkers, man, holy smokes, 
Anyway, let's not get too far off topic. We're talking about these Otter Messers. Otter Messer knives, guys. Um, and uh, they're just fantastic pieces of cutlery. These are the types of pieces that the knife doctor would find and seek out. You know what I mean? These are the kind of pieces that he gravitates to. Um, they're just fantastic knives. They really are. Do you want to see this knife that I purchased? I'm five minutes in and I didn't show you the knife yet, guys. Let's take a peek at it. Hello. Holy smokes. Let's get a focus on this guy. Now, feast your eyes on this. Holy smokes. The picture didn't look this good. I think that there, this was a different knife in the picture. This wasn't this knife in the picture. I remember it did not look this good in the picture. It just didn't. It didn't. I didn't even know. Okay, here's another thing I didn't know. It came with half stops. So when I got this through the mail this morning, I took a peek at it and I was like, I opened it up and I was like, it went to the half stop and I was like, whoa, holy smokes. I was like, well, that's a plus. Fit and finish is just spectacular. I mean, right out of the gate. This is what you're getting with Otter Messer. I'm highly going to recommend these Otter Messers, guys. I uh, Look at that. They're, it's just starting to break in. That oil's just finally starting to flow through it. That oil is just finally starting to uh, flow through that pivot. Um, But this stag, just take a look at this stag. I moistened this stag up with a little oil. It, this came right to life. It was a little dry. She was a little chalky. But as soon as I put a little dab of oil on it, whoa, it got nice and dark. The tones came out. The rich tones came out. And it just just woke up. This piece just woke up. And it's going to get better with every opening and closing on this. I'm guaranteeing. Because look at the half stop. Watch. Look at that. Look at that. Now, I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into uh, with this piece here. I didn't know if I wanted to drop the coin on it because it was a little expensive. You know what I mean? You're not talking a twenty dollar knife here. Um, it was it was pretty expensive. I think this was close to a hundred. Um, this was close to a hundred. I do, from what I believe, uh, what I remember, this was this little guy was close to a hundred. And boy, I'll tell you, well worth it. I mean, you're getting quality here. I mean, you're getting you're getting all the bells and whistles with this piece. Just look how it's it's just. Just so well constructed. Brass liners. Look at these beautiful brass liners. Just look at the construction of it. You don't see no gappage. No gapping, gaping. You don't see gaping holes anywhere. Um, just really, I'm just going to keep on working it. Breaking it in back and forth like this. Maybe squirt it with another little bit of, a little bit of oil again. And just... Just keep working that pivot, and then she's gonna come. She'll cut. She'll come around. She'll come around. But look at the um, the uh, hardware on this brass liners, brass. Um, that's nickel silver. This is nickel silver bolster. I think that's a nickel silver bolster. Yeah, that's not a brass bolster. That's nickel silver. Um, but sharpness. Whoosh, came to me sharp. Little devil came sharp. Look at that. That's got a little. Look, listen to that. Really? I'm trying to give you a focus. This is carbon steel now. This is going to be a carbon steel piece. So before you put it up, you would, you should uh, put a light, nice little light coat of oil on it. Or not, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter to me. Well, either way, just a beautiful piece. Really, just look at that stag. Look at that stag, how beautiful it is. I just want to give you guys, I just wanted to give you guys a first impressions of this. There's the little otter. There he is. He's getting ready to take a little swim. But just, that's what you want right there, that little otter. 
That's what you want right there, ladies and gentlemen. Just a fantastic piece. What do you guys think about this piece, guys? If you can, drop me a comment. Let me know. Um, kind of let me know where I'm at with this piece. Is it... Um, are you guys getting a fizz off this like I am or no? I'm definitely getting a fizz off this one, guys. Definitely getting a little fizz. Look how nice that backspine is. Beautiful backspine on it. Real nice backspine. I'm telling you, this thing is sharp. It is sharp. Oof. Oof, man. Anyway, guys, that's my first impressions of this Outer Messer stag piece. It doesn't really have a name. Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't have no, doesn't have a name. It does have a, a, a part number though. That's not the part number. It doesn't come with, it doesn't really show anything. You're going to have to go online to eBay and you're going to have to, you're going to just have to search Outer Messer knives and hopefully this will come up if it's not sold out. I don't know. You're going to have to do a search of it. Just keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. Hopefully you'll find it. That's how I found this one. That's exactly how I found this one. I didn't know the name. There was no name on this for what I was looking for. I just kept scrolling page for page for page. And I just was patient. And then all of a sudden, I just, boom, this came up. And I was like, whoa, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is what I was looking for. But anyway, um, that's it, guys. The Otter Messer collection is growing. The Otter Messer collection is growing. I'm happy. I'm excited about this little collection I'm, I'm, I'm into here. I'm really, really excited. It's a good little collection. It's a it's a fantastic little collection. All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna done. I'm done with the rambles. Everybody's got the rambles, and I uh, I'm gonna stop the rambles for now. You guys be good, be well, be safe. Uh, for the most part, I was just toying with you guys, kidding around with you, trying to have a good time. Keep the humor light. You know what I mean. Keep the humor light and. Uh, that's about it. And I'll put on all honesty. Let me know what you think about this Otter Messer with this stag. Fantastic little piece. All right, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. I will catch you on the next one. Take care.